We did it. It feels weird, almost hollow, to feel like it was a battle or something to be won to simply have background checks. But today, Wizards of the Coast had to acknowledge us. And they did so in a very calculated way, in a way that we're going to look at. We saw simultaneously the Magic Judge Committee, as well as the Wizards Play Network, publish articles. Let's start with the most important phrase or paragraph. As a part of our commitment to safe and inclusive spaces, tournament organizers and retailers will explicitly will be explicitly required to conduct background checks of all staff as permitted by applicable law. This includes Channel Fireball events, Grand Prix, local store events like Friday Night Magic, and professional events like the Pro Tour and World Magic Cup, as well as convention play run by Wizards. This is not a joke. This is on the WPN website. So this one is for all of you. First, we saw the Judge Association. This was the silver bullet. Ross Prajnir was the silver bullet. Last year, it was reported on social media that a level one judge, Ross Prajnir, was convicted of a sex crime in 2015. After hearing about these reports in December 25th, on December 25th, 2017, I immediately contacted the Judge Conduct Committee and Prajnir's regional coordinator to begin an ex expedited decertification process. This process was completed within 24 hours. He was decertified. Watsi was informed soon afterwards. This is written by Johanna, by the way. She's the head of the... We know it wasn't reported on social media. Unfortunately, I have some problems with this article, but I'm not going to... I'm going to give the judges a break today. We know it was reported directly to the judge committee th that summer, okay? Not in December. His name was also removed from the May 2016 anniversaries post because we caught you, which based its certification list not uh, date on uh, not currently active status. So they're saying he was on there as a mistake. Recently, it was reporting that the case was sent to MagicJustFeedback.com already in July 2017. This is true. I know there's a very angry man, Mr. Travis LaPlante, that enjoys this part. Yes, you were notified in July. Due to an administrative error, the case was not handled at that time. And I wasn't aware of the email until it was shared on social media. <laughs> this is very unfortunate and I am sorry. What the next sentence should be is, and I'm stepping down from my position. But, that's neither here nor there. Let's look at really what matters here, and then we'll mine some salt because it is so great. Making, making magic spaces safer. God, that language. Don't care. Doesn't matter. All that matters is the background checks, and we got them. Okay? It wasn't me. It was all of you. All WPN store owners will receive a link to updated terms and conditions via email next week. This email will include instructions to log into your Wizards account, review the new terms, and submit your agreement by February 9th. That means they are if they don't agree to this, they're going to lose the WPN status. And from what I'm hearing from Judge Insiders, they are pissed. <laughs> to protect all um, uh, players of all ages... To the extent permitted by applicable law, you agree to conduct background checks to meet your obligations under Section 15 on your staff as well as those you engage with that interact with the public. You will refrain from violating WPN code conduct. You agree to display your store, retail store and event locations, player community policies designated by Wizards. You will not employ or otherwise engage staff or other individuals who interact with the public on your behalf appear 
who appear on a sex offender registry and or have been convicted by a court competent jurisdiction of a violent sexual offense or crime against children. Boom! That's it, folks. Now, a lot of the a lot of stores are saying that this is the death of organized play, but that's an obvious overreaction. It's hyperbole. People don't like it when you tell them what to do, and I understand that. But what we're really talking about practically here is a store who's refusing to make sure their employees aren't on a sex offender registry. That is insanity. I've already had one store contact me on Facebook or tag me in it to blame me for why they were dropping Wizards product. Let's see what happens on Monday. I'd be willing to bet you dollars to donuts that that local game store owner isn't dropping anything. Now let's mine some salt, should we? Rarer monsters, as we know, the man who's very unbiased, the man who's reporting is such 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 of high of such high standard that the magic mics used him to summarize situations for them. This one's always Jeremy's goal. Hurt the game before because he isn't allowed to play anymore. I'm sorry, I can play all I want. In fact, I'm hosting a private event next weekend in Indianapolis that you're all welcome to come to if you just email me at watsyaskforthis at gmail.com. Look at this. I have booster packs right here. Look at this. I have a pre-release kit. I'm going to I'm gonna get do my own pre-release. So this is absurd. But it's so great. It's so great. They're actively blaming me and us for what again? Keeping dangerous people away from kids? Like, if you read this thread, everybody is pissed. And what and what are they pissed about? They're pissed that we won. That's all this is. And it's so sad that we have to win to get background checks in place around children. After being banned, Hambly dug up a couple cases, yeah, just a couple, 12, no big deal, where judges have committed crimes and use those as ammunition to claim a vast conspiracy of judges who both his audience and the broader alt-right, never mind that, if I remember correct, they were former judges that were charged. I mean, this is the narrative. These are, this is how stupid people are. 500 comments. Here's a TLDR. Tournament organizers. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Um, I mean, just my, let's just mine the salt. It's going to be a nightmare to enforce. No, it isn't. Just scan the registry. Here's somebody with some logic. $20 a person, maybe like once a year. That's a cost. It's not exactly a life-changing amount. It's also worth pointing out that a lot of other card games already require this to run their event. That's right. Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon already do. So all these people in here, 400 you know, people like flailing around about how this is absurd... Rare monsters. This is always a goal. Hurt the game. Meh. I drink your salty tears. I drink them up with the pork chop of beers. Miller High Life. And to all of you, thank you. Thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for not believing this crazy narrative that I was making any of this up. Because I, of course, as you know, had the receipts. What's next? Well, I need to reward all of you with a little bit of no drama for a while. And, oh, another piece of good information. Now, I feel like bad something bad's going to happen to me now to level it all out. But I was able to remove my strikes on my The Quartering channel today as well. It's just a red letter day for, for the good guys, I think. And what that means is now I can move all of the, the investigative stuff onto the quartering and we can just focus on games here. As you can see behind me, I've got all sorts of new games to cover. I think I'm going to do the fighting system game, maybe the Dragon Ball Z game next, um, Star Wars Destiny. 
and and that's just this month. I'm going to have 15 new games in February too. And all I can say is thank you to all of you. If you're in the Indianapolis area, you're welcome to come to my event where we're going to be drafting Rivals of Ixalan for free. We're going to be drafting Unstable for free. I'm going to be buying you drinks. I'm going to be buying you food. And we can all sleep a little bit better knowing that the kids are going to be a little bit safer. That's that's the crazy thing. These people are acting like they lost anything. Um, and those comments really make me lose faith in humanity because and, and local game stores too. Like, what is the point of of any of this, right? What is the point of not protecting children, of not doing the right thing? Uh I can't think of one. Can, I mean, it's 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 crazy. It's crazy to me. And all I can say is thank you all uh, so much, so so much. And this has been kind of a I don't know. It's been a long road, and you know, so many people have made this a lot easier and it's 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 great i mean i have hundreds of people emailing me to congratulate me please don't congratulate me this is your win this is the community's win this is keeping kids safe again it's not like anyone lost here the only thing that people lost was a little bit of ego that they may might have been pissed off that we were the ones that did this. But, you know, while everyone was worried about, about memes and saying mean things online, we stayed focused, we stayed the course, and we made magic safe again. Have a great Friday night. Appreciate you all. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to be notified the next time I upload a video, make sure you subscribe and click that damn bell so you actually get notified. If you want to support the cause of this channel, it survives based on the amazingly gracious support of my patrons. Link is in the description if you'd like to help out.